Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Eintau, the Wind Minotaurus. So if you're a long term viewer of the channel, you'll know that my number one goal that I've had for quite some time now is to build every single monster in Summoner's War. I mean, there are many reasons that I want to do this. One is just like I've played through Summoner's War. I've been playing it for a long time, even though I'm bad at it. <laughs> I've been playing it for such a long time. I mean, I was here before like, the art rework. I was here before a lot of monsters came out. Like some of these monsters still look new to me and they've been out for the longest time now. It is just, I've been playing for a while, and even though I'm not good at P PvP, it's just like, I remember when a lot of monsters were good. I remember when the game was much, much more difficult than it is now. Um, and some of these monsters were actually genuinely being used. But, you know, now the game has changed, and with that, there are just certain monsters that you use. You need, like, a stripper in one area. There are, like, two or three units that you would pick out of, even though there are, like, 20 different ones. And I just think, you know, the game gets pretty boring when you have just a, a preset team for everything. And you never need to deviate from that. And I think that get, that makes the game kind of boring. And I don't know about y'all, I've always wanted to build some of these monsters. I tell myself that I want to build, you know, randomly like, oh, I, I want to build like you. Or I mean, I've built you. <laughs> like, I want to build you, right? Tantra. But it's like, I never get to it because it's like, you know, these are very old monsters with dang near no usage compared to what you can use in your arsenal, right? So it's just, it's kind of giving respect to these monsters, you know, building them. But, uh, you know, that's just me. But we're going to be giving some one of these monsters respect today, and that's Eintau, the Wind Minotaurus. I saw him sitting in the monster storage um, unit, whatever you want to call it, and I was like, you know what? Your kit looks interesting. Let's see what we could do with it. And I built him. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go through skills, info, runes, and then just ru run into a couple battles, dude. I'm not expecting a whole lot. Remember, at the end of the day, this is a very, very outdated three-star. He has not been touched in years. Sounds like me. Um, <laughs> let's get into it. Let's get into it. Leader skill increases HP of ally monsters with the wind attribute by 30%. I mean, you could use this. <laughs> you could. Um, skill 1 is called Headbutt. He attacks with the horns and provokes for one turn with a 50% chance. The provoke effect is guaranteed if the attack lands as a critical hit, which is interesting. So we probably will get a provoke off pretty often because we have him on some crit, but not because of this. Um, though, if you want a good provoke unit that is also a minotaur... <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'm scrolling through all this. Where is he? I believe it's actually Baruntai. Barunto. Or is it... Which one is it? I know one of them just has provokes on every single turn. But the point is... Um, you, you, you're you going to build him crit with just a bunch of tanky stats. You'd almost build them like you would. Like, is it a Sierra? Or, or is it a Juno? Juno. Where it's like she's going to have crit because of her skill 1. And you, you want her to kind of be on like some like violent revenge type deal where it's like she's revenge crocking or something like that but she's also critting i don't know that's at least how i would build a juno but we're not here to build juno we're here to build eintel but interesting skill one provoke is going to be nice um we could use that to probably save a couple allies but if anyone's going to need saving it's going to be him i promise um slaughter is his skill too he attacks with an axe and recovers 20 percent of his hp additionally if the enemy dies by this attack, your HP is recovered by 25% instead of the enemy's max HP. Um, so, again, pretty interesting. He can heal himself. If he kills the enemy, getting that heal of their HP is pretty decent. Um, though, when you think about it, you would have to kill like a tank with this for this to be like... I mean, not to be really good, but it's just... Uh, I'm just trying to think of the enemy's max HP thing, but I don't think it really matters all that much. But you get this every two turns, which is pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> what do you want me to say, dude? He heals. Skill 2. Um, based off, off of whether he kills him or not, he heals himself. I'm just trying to think of like where you would get some insane heal. Because if I remember his passive correctly, um, heals are very important, I think. 
But um, let's just go to his passive and we'll come back to the skill too. But every two turns. Cool. Um, Lord of the Labyrinthos. That is... that I almost tripped on that. Um, your attack power is increased by 50%. And you are healed by 30% of the damage you deal. So he's got a built-in vampire set. Additionally, you'll gain a shield for one turn by the exceeded recovery amount. So whenever he deals damage, he's going to gain a shield based off of that excess recovery. So... The way I've built him, and, and I'm so curious at how this plays with it, because he's going to heal himself with this, but he also heals based off the damage. He has a lot of healing, um, self-healing, which is nice. I want to rebuild him now. Well, I, I'll do that in a different video. I'll do a video tomorrow, actually, probably on this, on some, like, revenge set type nonsense. But, um, the way I've built him is I've built him on as much damage as I can get on him without removing runes from anybody. And I want to see how much of a shield he can get, you know? So, <laughs> but it's a shield for one turn, so it's not that great of a shield. But we're just trying to see what we can do. Please remember, his stats aren't going to look super crazy, but boom, info. <laughs> it's not the greatest. Um, Like, his base attack is horrible. Like, you look at any reference, it is just like 800, 700, 500, so again, whatever, 700. A lot of people are in the 600s, and he's just like, insert fart sound, blah, right? It, it's just not super crazy, but um, I just tried to give him attack crit rate for damage, and uh, I, I, I failed, <laughs> but I tried, dude. I tried. Like, we, I threw him on Fatal Blade, um, tried to. I just, I really tried, dude, but... Uh, <laughs> What could I do? Um, his artifacts, I think his artifacts are pretty good. I tried to enhance his skill 2 crit damage to ensure that he at least does something. So in this one, you get attack and defense up effects plus 6%, which is nice. Crit damage as the enemy has more HP, max 6%. The damage he deals on units that are water, plus 15%. And the damage he takes from fire, minus 8%. Not that this is going to really help him all that much, because he's a 3-star. He's going to die... From supports, a support's going to be able to kill him, but you know what? It's whatever. HP artifact. <laughs> Own turn, one target crit damage plus 2%. Additional damage by 2% of his defense. Skill 2 crit damage plus 24%. And then his first attack crit damage plus 5%. So, I'm hoping that we can actually get a decent amount of damage out of him. Not asking for the craziest thing in the world, but a decent amount. So, with that being said, how about we hop into some arena battles? Okay, so <laughs> what are the chances that we're going to outspeed? <laughs> I mean, our common mirror, 24% attack speed lead, if I recall. Zero. It's got to be zero. Oh, glancing. Sweet. Oh, my gosh. We'll do one of these attack buffs. Um, I don't... We'll, we'll just do one of these. Uh, pop. And then she's going to counter. She's going to defense break somebody. Okay, let's do this. Skill 2. Obviously onto Char. <laughs> okay. At least over 10k damage, please. 25k! <laughs> we don't really get to see the shield, though. Okay. <laughs> 25k is not bad. It's not bad, you know what I mean? Um... But he's going to get this shield permanently, because it's just like the Macron Guard is not going to allow him to just be hurt. We're going to do one of these next. Um, Let's see his skill one on the uh, the Kumar, I think. 11k. Uh, so. A little over more than what the support unit does. <laughs> it's a good reference. Oh, pop. Defense break the, the thing. Never mind. Skill 2 on O'Reilly. 14k. Not bad. Does she have Nemesis on her? Is Nem Did you put... Did you put your Riley on a Nemesis? Or did Riley get a buff or something? I didn't... Why did your Riley just gain attack bar? Let's check that. <clears throat>
Okay. <laughs> I didn't build them the land provokes, <laughs> so I can't expect much. Pop. Sleep. Do something. Do something. Okay. Defense rate? Nope. Sleep? Nope. Sleep? Nope. Skill 2. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought I had accuracy on my units. I'm going to have to check after the freaking battle. Oh my gosh. Beneficial effects block. Anything but a freaking immunity. Broke. Never mind. <laughs> hey, remember, three star. <laughs> He's a three star. He's not going to do nothing. But I'm enjoying him. And he's my little cow. Dude. Die already. Jesus Christ. Next match. <laughs> okay, next fight. Yay. <laughs> Me no outspeed. You do one of these. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I don't trust RNG and I don't trust Com to us. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Great. Up. Uh, and we're gonna do one of these on Kaki to say make sure I anti hentai can get a chance to move. Pop one of these. <laughs> Good. She's moving in a second. Pop. Defend. Never mind. Oh. 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 Okay. Kill. Whoa. <laughs> okay. We back in business, baby. <laughs> Dude, that was nasty work right there. Okay. <laughs> we got some damage in, bro. Because he's, he's got that that shield tank, dude. That shield tanked everything. How much damage was that? That, that he just tanked. Look at it. Pop. Never mind. Anyways. But, um. So that would have been around 8k. So at least the shield tanked for 8k. Um, we're gonna. Pop. Um. Dude, it's clean. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Next fight. We should be able to do something here. We should be able to do something here. Um, Maybe. <laughs> maybe. We're going to be targeted. Probably. Probably, probably, probably. What about we uh, bring in you? I don't know why. And we're going to do one of these because I know we're not outspeeding. <laughs> Yep, nope, I have no confidence. Well, wow, we actually outsped. So, we, to be fair, we didn't really need it in the first place. Pop, pop, pop. Bam. You do one of these, kablam, because I am scared. Hmm. And let's see skill two against the water duck Ivy Lord. Dude, he's just going crazy. I love his artifacts, dude. His artifacts are helping him so much. His seal prevented him from violent proccing, dude. I saw that. Um, attack break on you. We'll do one of these. Uh, stun you. Heck yeah. Never mind, you're gonna violent proc anyways. So we're gonna seal you. Um, can we defense break you? Oh my gosh, and Brunto's gonna provoke. We're gonna heal Fron. But we're kind of in a dangerous spot right now. Fron is getting that work. Let me put defense break on you. Heck yes. Whew, okay. Um, we're kind of in the clear. Who do we execute? I mean, we're gonna execute uh, the Druid. He's gonna revive himself though, ain't he? Yeah. 
soul protection is preventing us from doing stuff. Dude, it's back! Okay, um, let's do some of these. We need glancing hits and seals. Defense break on you. Nope, she's going to heal herself. We're going to just protect everybody. Barunto, finish him off? No. Braun? Heck yes. Take out the Reviver. We're going to just do this. Might as well. Barunto, or, or not Barunto, Entai. Entau can kill. Um, Skill 2 on the Dark Onimusha? Not bad. He's not doing bad, dude. This old ass 3 star <laughs> is doing stuff. And it's like, I'd like to think that I'm high enough in the ranks to where I'm facing real monsters and not the way some of y'all build monsters. Just joking. Some of y'all are okay. Defense break? No, seal. But it's fine. Um, We're going to just pop this. Kill him. Defense break you. Pop. Yeah, we win. We will do one more fight. One more fight. Can we even win this? I mean, we can. Um, we could bring back Barbara, which I still haven't done a thing for. Let's do it. Oh, <clears throat> mm, 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 mm. Barbara is going to be the counter against Josephine, believe it or not. Um. Can we just knock out the ch 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 is it's not chow, is it? Chow. No, it's not quite. Oh, too bad we can't knock out chow. Psych! Bam! <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought he was gonna go crazy just now. He did 4K. <laughs> that chow's tanky. Oh, man, what are we going to do against you? Yeah. Barbara has a strip skill three. In case you didn't know. So we're going to take her out ASAP. We got to provoke off. So she ain't going to do nothing. Okay, well, she's doing something. Um, Decrease attack bar for you. Decrease defense. Can we kill you? No. Maybe. Let's see, see if we can just keep knocking you down a little bit. You know, take you down a notch. A peg or two. And skill two. 20k. There we go with the healing. They really like to do that sometimes. Ooh, we need this shield. <laughs> well, Fron gets her shit together. It's been a while since I've used Fraun. <laughs> Just a big old Riley lover. Um, no weird shit. Okay, immunity, attack buff. Can we just kind of just keep messing with you a little bit? Ah, <sighs> dude, maybe I need to go for the Druid. That would probably be the smart thing to do. Okay, push everyone's attack bar forward. We could probably knock her out. You think so? Skill 2? <laughs> Let's stun you. He didn't do no type of damage whatsoever, by the way. Um. Trying to figure something out. Defense break? Nope. We're going to heal you now while we can. Provoke? Heck yes. Defense break and kill. Oh my gosh. They barely freaking live each and every time. What is happening here? Is there something happening that I'm not aware about? Um, we're going to do one of these. Robert should kill next turn. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to lose my brain. <laughs> like, what is happening? Kill! 18k. Whatever. 
just attacking random people at this point. The 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 sauce is definitely to uh, or, or the recipe is definitely you know to kill him, the druid. But we can't right now, so we just kind of gotta poke fun at a couple other people. Let's do some of these. Defense week. Perfect. Okay, we can actually kill him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Pop, pop. It's done with. It's out of here. We can actually win this. Jesus Christ, I was so scared. <laughs> um, We're going to save that for when Barbara, or not Barbara, Josephine does her thing. Don't gotta be lower, we're just gonna mess with you a little bit. Provoke? Not that it would matter. Um, do that on Fron. There we go. Cry of threat. That didn't last too long. Drip that. Bam. Defense break. Nope. Skill two. Two K. <laughs> I'm not expecting a whole lot, but still. Just doing it for the damage at this point. Ooh, we can get something in. Yeah, we need one of these. Just to start protecting her. Ooh, 12k. He's actually getting off decent damage. I, know, I, I keep repeating myself, but he's actually doing some decent damage. Ooh, we just took out the second biggest player on this team. Skill two. Okay. Stun? Yes. Strip and kill? Close. I was about to say, if she would have violent proc straight into her next thing, that would have been some BS. Provoke? Heck yes. Yeah, we're winning. Okay. Two Le Monster Box. Oh, yeah. Big boy chow. Just go and die. Already. Uh, anyways, to the monster box. Okay. So, I was pleasantly surprised by Ein Tao's performance today. Um, I, By the way, I hope I'm saying the name correctly. I don't know where the name hails from, so I can't look up a pr correct pronunciation. I don't know. Maybe I could, but I don't care. <laughs> Ein Tao sounds cool. Um... But I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, dude actually did some damage. And you could probably say that it was due to, uh, you know, to the human aspect of it. Your boy was placing some pretty decent artifacts. We made sure that he was doing damage on water units. And the damage according to enemies HP. Um, skill 2 crit damage plus 24%. That definitely played a massive role and I think, in him doing damage. But it was great. I mean, we threw those on him and he performed. And... <laughs> I might genuinely use him, like, on my own. Like, with, like, low and all of them, it's, like, they're fun to use, but it's, like, you're always going to have better units, right? I can tell it was pretty fun. I can't wait till... I mean, they're going to make a two-way of a lot of these units as time goes on. It might take years. I don't know when the Minotaurus is going to get his own two-way. It'd be nice if he got it pretty soon. But I'd, I'd say not pretty soon, because I actually prefer some other units get two-ways first. But when he does... You're, you know that a lot of his kit is going to revolve around what it's kind of already doing, where, yeah, he gains the attack power increase, but he's also, like, doing the shielding and all that stuff based off of healing. Like, I've noticed in that one fight against Kaki, when he killed or, or whatever one of the other units, he gained that shield, and then Kaki attacked him and, like, did no damage. I mean, yeah, he broke the shield and probably did, like, the tiniest amount of damage, but, like... He didn't really do too much. And the cool thing about Eintau is that he's always healing himself. I think realistically, a proper build would have him a little bit more tankier since he does increase his own attack power on some like triple revenge type nonsense. That or like double revenge to destroy or something like that. But the built-in vampire was really helping. And I like the access healing part. I mean, for a very old three-star, he actually has a pretty nice passive. Um, exceeded recovery amount. That's neat. Um, but I think a lot of it, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not I'm, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but it is the human aspect of it where it's like due to the artifacts that we gave him, I think those artifacts were a massive help 
and making sure that he was doing what he needed to do. I think without those artifacts, he wouldn't have gotten such a good video, in my opinion. But um, you guys tell me what you think. I, I liked Eintel. I'm not going to use him all the time, but I might use him every once in a while just for funsies. What do you guys think about Eintel? You guys tell me in the comment section below. See you guys in the next one. Peace.